we want to solve the following one-step equations that involve negative x or the opposite of x. So we can read this first equation two ways. We can read this negative x equals positive 5, or we can also read this the opposite of x is equal to positive 5. Let's first think of this as negative x equals positive 5. The key to solving these types of equations is to remember that if we multiply by 1, it's not going to change anything. What I mean by that is we can rewrite this equation as negative 1 times x equals positive 5. And then in this form, we can solve for x like we would any other one-step linear equation, meaning we want to isolate the variable on one side of the equation. So we want this equation to be in the form of x equals some number. So because this negative 1 is attached to the x by multiplication, to isolate x, we'll have to divide both sides by negative 1. On the left side, negative 1 divided by negative 1 would be 1, and 1 times x is just x. And on the right side, we have positive 5 divided by negative 1, which is equal to negative 5. So x equals negative 5 is our solution. So now if we go back and think of this negative sign as the opposite, we can think of this as the opposite of x is equal to positive 5. So hopefully it makes sense that x is equal to the opposite of positive 5 or negative 5. In our second example, we'll approach this the same way, even though the variable is on the right side. So we'll write this as negative 8 equals negative 1 times x. Again, recognizing that negative 1 times x is equal to negative x. And now, again, we'll have to divide both sides by negative 1 to isolate x. So on the right side, we do have x. And on the left side, we have negative 8 divided by negative 1, which would be positive 8. So our solution is 8 equals x, which is normally written as x equals 8. So I hope this explanation helps clarify how to solve one-step equations that involve negative x or the opposite of x.